Hi guys, get ready with me to go to my joint birthday with my friend Charles, and I'm gonna tell you my engagement story while we do it. Today we're also gonna be using P. Louise stuff from the haul from the other day, so uh, stay tuned to see what I use and how it looks on. So true. I want long talks, Friday nights, kissing by the poolside. First things first, I'm gonna put my hair up and out of the way so we can get the makeup done as quickly as possible. So, I also put on tan today and I don't know if you can tell, but I feel super, super green. I feel like I'm incredibly green. But anyway, also, little excitement for the Christmas nails. Okay, let's get into it. So I'm gonna start with my primer, the Laura Mercier Blurring Primer Canvas. Hey buddy. Oh, you hit all the baubles. Hit all the baubles. So just a bit. Oh my God, I keep catching myself and thinking I look so fucking green. Tell me if I look green, please. In the comments, tell me. I wanna know if I'm Shrek-esque on my birthday. Okay, I've got a fresh beauty blender, the Morphe one, which is my favorite one. Look at this. Oof. Okay, let's get into the real reason that we're here. I'm gonna start with my eyebrows and the start of the story. I'll be looking in my mirror here. This is the P. Louise uh, bronzer palette called Wrap It Up. Um, so I'll be using that as my little mirror here and I'm gonna get straight into it. Let's just start. So while I fix up my eyebrows, cause they're a little bit overgrown, um, I'll tell you the story. Finally, this year, he proposed. Okay, we're doing the brows and I'm using the Morphe uh, Brow Pomade in the color Biscotti with a um, little Morphe angled brush on the end, well, angled brush on the end and a spoolie on the other side. I guess I'm just, ooh, I'm just brushing my um, eyebrow hairs up after I tidied them up with the um, tweezers. And I'm just gonna put in some extra little brow hairs here before I put the brow balm. Before I use the brow balm that we got from P. Louise the other day. So just to darken them up a little. I feel like I'm darkening them a lot, but I'm trying to darken them just a little. So let me set the scene for you, engagement wise. Uh, so we were, we've been together for 10 years. We were high school sweethearts. We were 15 or 16 when we first met and first got together, which is so fun. And we've been together ever since, so. 10 long years. I was really hoping an engagement was coming, but I knew we had other things we were trying to achieve first. So I wasn't too worried uh, about that side of it because here it's a little bit sort of different, I think in Australia, or maybe it's just the times um, that not everyone gets engaged like super early, super quick or super young, um, but some people do, I guess. Anyway, so our story. Uh, it was the 11th of November, so almost a month ago exactly, because uh, today's the 9th of December. Yeah, let's use the P. Louise Take a Brow Brow Balm. So it just pops off like that. I spent ages trying to twist it, what a doofus. Just grabbing the little spoolie that comes with it and like brushing it in, <laughs> oh my God, into the balm, like this. Just try to wipe a little bit off. And then we're going to stick the brows up with it so that they stay in place all day. Mm. Good job, P. Louise, that's a nice product. Using a little bit of the P. Louise, the P. Louise base in the color Ruma One. Um, this is an older one I've had for a while. Um, I'm just gonna use it to cut my brows out, carve my brows out. You only need a tiny little bit and I'm just using um, a little flat brush from Napoleon Curtis. Are you all right? I have a visitor here behind me, little Juki, that's just getting right in this Christmas tree behind me. So it's the 11th of December. Uh, we had planned to go to um, Manong Estate Winery in Mickleham, just to have a look because originally me and Charles were gonna have our birthday there today, uh, but the weather has actually turned absolutely terrible in Melbourne and it's gonna pour rain and it already is raining actually, it's really overcast, looks like a terrible day. So we decided to move it to somewhere else, so we're actually gonna go to McCracken in Essendon Fields. Uh, so I, I've never been there or really heard of it, so I'm excited, but Charles has been there a bunch and said that it's great, so I'm just trusting her on that one. Anyway, we... Yeah, we're gonna go to Manong Estate and have a look at it just to see uh, what it's like because we were gonna have a picnic there and, and the website didn't really have a lot of information about how to go about doing that. So 
we decided to go and have a look and we dressed up really nice i'll put in a little clip here of us when we were about to leave the house i'm in this beautiful red dress that i actually bought for christmas last year like i wore on christmas day last year and i haven't had a reason to wear it again but i love it so much and jess picked it out which was one of the little hints that i got that something was going on because normally he just says he just says pick whatever you want he doesn't help with the picking out the clothes process I'm gonna use some new P. Louise brushes from the Believe in the Bristles set. So these are actually still in the box, but they look so nice. Look at this packaging and this box. And another full size mirror in there, so convenient. So I'm gonna use some of the eye brushes in here to do my eye makeup today. Okay, so I'm using the E3, the E30, the E26, the F37, and the E27. These are the ones I'm going to use today for the makeup look. I'm also going to use the Wedding Ex Wedding Wish Extra Large Palette that I bought from P. Louise as well, which I'm really excited to use because it's so nice, like so many nice colors in there. Um, oh my God, if we can get it out. This one also has a mirror in it. Everything comes with a friggin' mirror in it. Let's have a quick look at all the colors. Ooh. I'm actually wearing black and Charles is wearing all white. So I'm gonna try and do something a little bit kind of neutral. I don't wanna go too crazy like with lots of colors, um, but something a little bit fun. So I'm gonna just do a base in the color Vow, which is this one here. I love this little heart stamped into every single one of them. Oh, so pigmented. So back to the story. I'm in my beautiful red dress and we drive out to Manong Estate and it's so nice up there. We get some pictures. Jess has a very cute outfit on that I um, was not expecting. He'd been out and he'd bought a new outfit. Um, new shoes and everything, which I thought was so sweet that he'd gone and like made an effort to get something new. So we go to the winery and we have a delicious Italian sandwich. So if you're uh, looking for a nice winery somewhere on this side of town, I would definitely say go and check out the Mikulam, um, uh Manong Estate because it's like out of the way. It has a really nice view. It's got this lovely like picnic area and delicious food at this little cafe. So I'm sure the food at all the restaurants would also be delicious because there's like three restaurants on the property. Anyway, we have this delicious meatball sub and uh, then we head to the city to go to the waterfront on South Bank on the Arrow. There's the, the base. Oh, it's a little orangey in this light, actually. Mm. I am going to swap to the E26, a uh, little kind of angled, angled fluffy brush. And I'm going to use the color, I think, Treasure You, which is this one here, because I love that. And I'm just going to put that like here on the corner and into the crease. Just there. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's really pretty. I love this color. We get to the waterfront um, and we have a nice table. It's like a little booth in the outdoor area, like out the front, um, but it's back like in the corner, like in the back corner. So we can still like enjoy the sun and the warmth and um, it's like nice out there, but we're kind of like secluded a little bit, a little, not heaps. I'm just gonna grab my other brush and do um, the color Bond which is this one here and just sort of blend that edge a little bit because it's looking it's looking a little funky just this top edge here so we sit down and we have some delicious food i'll put some videos in of the food because it was so good we had delicious oysters which normally i don't even like oysters but they were top notch I really enjoyed them. Uh, and we had some scallops and we had um, burrata. Oh, burrata, it's my favorite thing. Burrata is so delicious. With this like crispy bread and the creamy cheese. Oh, 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 take me back, take me back. Anyway, so we have those as our entrees and then we had a main of, um, I think Jess had a steak and then I had this like fish in a lip, lip, lipstick bisque, <laughs> in a lobster bisque. Um, and we just kind of shared everything as we normally do. And then when, and then we had dessert. And so here's where it starts to get a little fishy because on this day, I was not expecting the engagement simply because I thought um, when I, when I saw Jess's outfit for the day, I thought, okay, it's not happening today. No ring box, right? Cause I'd had my suspicions for a little bit. 
But I thought, I saw his outfit and I thought, not happening today, no ring box. Okay, next I'm gonna grab this color called Veil, which, oh, which is this color here. And I'm using the E30, um, kind of a flat brush. And this is like a deeper brown purple kind of color. Um, and I'm just going to use this like right in the crease, just pat into the crease, just to darken up that edge there. I just said that I was gonna do something more natural, but it's so bright. I'm gonna use the E23, which is just like a little fluff brush, and I'm gonna use an even darker color. I think I'm gonna go with Marry Me, which is just this one here, and then maybe a slight bit of no objections on the bottom, um, just to really darken up this kind of corner, and we're gonna make it into a bit of a wing. Look at this color on this. Oh, I don't know if you can tell, but it's so purple and pigmented. So I'm just going like on the edge of the lash line and making like a little triangle up to uh, the crease. So just, yeah, I'm making a little triangle like on this edge. Going back to my first brush that I used at the very beginning and I'm just going to use it to blend these two colors together. I'm not putting anything else on it. I'm just going to use the fluffiness to sort of blend it out a little bit. Okay, we finished with the black. Oh, and, well, like a tiny bit of black. Don't worry, just trust the process. It's it's coming together, it's coming together. We're going to put on a little bit of this, like magic glittery stuff that I've had forever. And honestly, I can't tell you where I got it from because it was so long ago. Anyway, I'm just gonna put a little bit on the lid in from the corner working upwards with this little old brush that does not have enough number on it. It's a Morphe brush. Um, it's just a small uh, sort of puff, I guess. I'm just gonna put some shimmer from the corner up and I'm also gonna put a little under the eyebrow. So just here, just here. Then I'm gonna grab this fluffy brush that doesn't really have anything on it and I'm just going to sort of uh, run over the top corner here just to make sure that that shimmer isn't taking over the eyelash, the eyebrow, the, oh, the eyelid too much, just so it melts in nicely. Now let's do the rest of the face. All right, just using a little makeup wipe, I am gonna clean up the corners of this so that it looks nice when we put the rest of the makeup on. And then we are going to speed through the rest of the makeup because honestly I'm running late as per usual, <laughs> which is such a bad habit, but I wanted to look really nice because it's my birthday and I just took too long getting there because we still have to do my hair. Look at that. Mm. Mm -mm. Nice. I'm using the Fit Me Concealer uh, just under my eyes here just to brighten up a little bit before I put my foundation on. Let's continue with the story. So uh, we go to the waterfront, we had this delicious dinner, we get to dessert and this is where things start getting interesting because like I said, I was not expecting anything that day just because I there was no ring box and we took my car so there was no way he could have put the ring or ring box in my car without me knowing because I'd been out in my car earlier that day. So I, um, I thought to myself earlier in the day, just enjoy your day, have a good time because it's not gonna happen today, but you can still have a good time. You, can, you don't have to be sad that you were wrong. And you like It'll just happen at another time, don't worry about it. And so I had just been enjoying the day and um, just having fun with my man. Anyway, we're having dessert and he says, uh, we're having this like chocolate lava cake pudding thing. And he goes, oh, there's chunks in it. And I, being in my brain goes, is the ring in the in the dessert? I'm thinking, oh, maybe it's in there. Like, be careful when you eat it. Um, we eat the whole dessert. There's no ring in there. I was fucking wrong. <laughs> now I'm using the randomest brand of um, foundation. So I'm using two colors as well. It's called Ino Inoxa Anti-Aging um, Lift and Firm Foundation in Golden, and then a pump of Mood as well because it's like in between. Because I'm not super tan right now, and I'm going to use a little brush to um, put it onto my face. So here's what the colors look like mixing together. Um, if you have any suggestions of foundations that you would recommend, please leave a comment for me because I really need a new one and I'm happy to pay the price for it. It was just that I used these for competition time because they were cheap. 
We have the dessert. We're sitting at the table and I'm thinking, okay, we're gonna head home soon. Like it's it's not getting late, but it's kind of. Like we've we've finished with this place now, right? Oh my god, I still feel like I look so fucking green. Uh, but we're just gonna have to move on with our lives. And if I look green, I look green. The base is done, let's move on to bronzer. So I'm trying new bronzer from this collection. I your new not oh, I normally use this one that I nicked from my mum, but I'm gonna try something new this time. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with with this this one here it doesn't have a name I'm just gonna put this big brush big fluffy brush and do all over oh shit <laughs> Ooh, okay blend it blend it blend it blend it blend it okay sorry a little technical mishap there but uh okay I think I look all right with this like all over bronze I just keep feeling like I'm super muddy especially here with this line on my forehead and it just feels really really green anyway I'm going to go with this one on the end here as like a contour color uh, with this little angled brush that is from Napoleon Purchase. I think it's gonna be too brown. Uh, okay, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's okay. Maybe it's okay. We can blend this. I hope. Holy shit. <laughs> I don't think I look as dark in the camera light as I do in the real light, especially on my neck. Fuck. <laughs> We're just gonna have to roll with it. This is what it's gonna look like now. Okay, back to the story. So we finished dessert. I think, okay, we're leaving now. It's time to go. Um, and the waitress who has been giving us incredible service the whole night, like so attentive, really, really lovely as well. She's just buggered off. She's entirely buggered off. And I was like, where is she? Like, she's coming back to give us the bill. Like, we're gonna leave now. Anyway, uh, she doesn't come back for ages. And then I could feel Jess start to get nervous. And I was like, Anyway, he um, like turned to me and he was just really, really sweet, like telling me these really lovely things. I'm going to keep it for myself. You know, I'm going to keep those things for myself. Um, but I'll tell you, it was lovely. And he leans back and he pulls out of his pocket this incredible ring. Look at this beautiful ring. He pulls it out of his pocket. It's been in his pocket the entire fucking day. And then when I go back and have a look, I'll put the video in here from the very beginning of the day. You can see it in his pocket. And I just didn't notice. I just didn't click. But there you go. That is our beautiful engagement story. We were at the waterfront. And now after 10 long years together, we are going to get married. <sighs> okay, I'm using the Morphe uh, Black Balm in Wild Wine. So I'm just putting that on my cheekbones with my finger. And I'm using this thousand year old tech, Real Techniques brush, contour brush, uh, which is not necessarily what I use it for. Now I'm also gonna use my thousand year old from absolutely, I don't know where, Siviana Colors, fantastic blusher in the shade 01, which is this like goldy white color as my highlighter. If you recommend a different highlighter from somewhere where I'll be able to get another one of them, then please let me know in the comments. So I'm looking for a foundation, um, maybe some more bronze up. I like this one actually, and some highlighter. So that's your job, guys. Um, leave me some comments and let me know what you use or what's good, at least. Ooh, ooh, because I want that, but somewhere I can purchase it again because I have no idea where I bought this from. Then I'm just going to use the big fluffy brush from before and just kind of blend it all together a little bit. Because I don't want to look like a Neapolitan ice cream on my cheek. I'm going to use the Morphe Liquid Liner in ink, felt tip liquid liner, um, just to do a tiny, tiny wing, just to increase the darkness on the outside here. Because uh, it is like dark, but it's kind of not dark enough, you know? So only going halfway across my eye, so I'm not going the whole way. This has been so convenient to use. Just kind of increases the dramaticness a little bit. And then I'm gonna grab that tiny little black brush that we were using before and just smoke it on the edge. That's this one. Then I'm gonna grab the brushes from earlier and I'm gonna go back with this Treasure You color and put a little, a little under my eye. And the big fluffy brush with that marry me color from the side, the dark purple shade, and just right here. I've gone a bit hard on this eye fuck. Just gonna use my makeup wipe and just dab. 
grab the concealer, gold concealer brush from earlier and just gonna pat that in. Okay, we fixed it. So there's just a little underneath the eye. It's still bright and shiny. Now we're just gonna do the lips. So I'm gonna use the Lip, lip Scrub Club um, in the flavor Tipsy. Tipsy, feeling tipsy? And just put a little on my lips. Thank you. Mm, that feels very nice. Uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Super Size Me Lip Cheat. And I just love this color. So inner lip line on the corners and then outer lip line on the bottom and connect the two. Fill in the corner, same on the top. Then I'm going to use the MAC um, May Matte Mayhair, 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 which is my favorite MAC color. Very good. Last thing on the list is the lashes. So I'm just gonna use this lash curler from Lash Therapy. And I'm gonna use Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes, if there's enough left in there. Okay, this is the final look. Now I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair because I was supposed to like do something with it, but um, like curl it, straighten it, but I just don't have time. So maybe we can like dry shampoo it and just leave it. Is it good enough? What if I did this? Do we think this is okay? Is this enough? It's gonna have to be, I think. Um, I'm gonna put the outfit on. I wanna show you guys really quickly and then I have to leave. This is the outfit. I can't really bend down and show you, but. It's nice and sparkly. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave me a comment, hit subscribe and uh, like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.